Hey, what is going on guys over at Stealth here and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down why Korean high elo and pro players are spamming this new unorthodox build on Kai'Sa. We're going to be comparing the new build to the more common build and break down the pros and cons that this new build has to offer. So let's start off here by comparing the two builds in the early game. So the new build on Kai'Sa, 2400 gold is going to be getting you a Serrated Dirk, a BF Sword, and you're going to be getting 70 AD and 10 Lethality from that. The more common build on Kai'Sa right now though for 2400 gold is getting your Mana Immune, giving you 50 AD and 250 Mana, and we're just going to assume that you're about level 6 when you do pick up these items. Now, if you're wondering how I got to 50 AD from the Mana Immune, you're going to get 35 base from the item, and then you're also going to be getting 2% of your maximum mana converted into AD. So 2% of your max mana at level 6 there is going to end up with you getting an extra 15 AD for the item. Next, let's move on to comparing the two build paths at around 4,400 gold. So for 4,400 gold, you're going to be getting a Serrated Dirk and an Essence Reaver. And this is your really big spike on this new Kai'Sa build because what this allows you to do is it allows you to get your Q upgrade. You get 100 AD once you complete those two items, which allows you to upgrade that Q. And it just gives you a really nice early to mid game spike there. You're also getting 20% CDR, 25% crit, along with that mana back passive. And then if we compare this to the similar gold equivalent of 4,275 gold with your Mana Immune, your Pickaxe, and your Recurve Bow, you're going to be getting around 83 AD at level 9 or 10 here. Now this is an estimate because depending on how many stacks you got on your Mana Immune, how many tier stacks you have, also depending on how many Presence of Mind stacks you have, this number can fluctuate a little bit. It can go up to like 93 AD, it can drop down to like in the 70s, mid 70s AD, so this is going to change depending on the game. You're going to have around 550 mana, this is all also going to change depending on the game. You will have 25% attack speed though, and you're also going to have that recurve bow passive. So by comparing these two different build paths here, what we can take away so far is that the build on the left, the Serrated Dirk into Essence Reaver, is going to give you a lot more strength throughout the early to mid game. You're getting a lot of extra AD, you're getting that Q upgrade really early on in the game, which is super key. It just allows for it to deal a lot more DPS throughout the early to mid game. You have 20% CDR as well, which allows for you to spam out your abilities a lot more often. You're also getting that 25% crit there. You are lacking a little bit of mana, so you can run into mana issues a little bit, but the mana back passive should help you out with that and you're also losing out on a little bit of attack speed but I definitely think the less mana and the less attack speed is worth the trade-off for that Q upgrade and the extra AD CDR and crit. And then if we compare the two build paths now, once you get to around level 12 to 13 at 7,835 gold, we're also going to assume that you do have boots too at this point. You got your Berserker Grieve. So what this new build pass gives you, or the key thing that this new build pass gives you, is it gives you an upgrade on every single one of your abilities. So you have your Q upgrade, you have the perfect amount of AP there with your Nashers and your Amp Tone get to get the W upgrade. You also have the perfect amount of attack speed to get your E upgrade because you need 84% attack speed at level 12 to get the E upgrade and with your Berserker Greaves and your Nasher's Tooth you do get 85% attack speed. Another key thing you're getting with this new build path is 40% CDR there, so it just allows for you to spam your Q out a lot more often. You're going to be a lot more ability reliant with the build on the left here because of that 40% CDR, and it makes it it makes the build a little bit more easier to play as well. You don't have to rely on kiting as much, you don't have to rely on auto attacks as much for your damage because of that CDR. And then comparing it to the build on the right, the more common build for Kai'Sa right now of the Mana Immune into Ginsu's for 7,935 gold plus boots at level 12 to 13, you're going to be getting a maximum of 104 AD. So I'm taking into account here that you have your Mana Immune fully stacked out into the Mirror Mana there, that you have max stacks on your Presence of Mind, and when doing the calculations, when converting the Mana into AD, it's going to give you max 104 AD. So this could be less or this will be less in a lot of your games on Kai'Sa, some games it will be less than it will be like around 90 or in the 90s somewhere so it's not going to be 100 for every single game you are going to be getting 1500 mana though so you never run into mana issues really with this build on kaisa 95 percent attack speed so 10 percent more attack speed there you are getting less cdr though so 20 percent cdr instead of the 40 percent you're also getting less ap so you get 80 ap here and you're not going to have enough for that w upgrade so that's one of the things that you're missing out on for this build on the right you do not have that w upgrade 
upgrade for the gold equivalent. You do have to keep in mind though that you do have the mirror mana passive and the Ginsu passive with the build on the right. So if you do get your Ginsu fully stacked out in a team fight, then your auto attacks will be dealing a lot of damage and you will be able to pump out more DPS with your auto attacks with the build on the right than the build on the left. So now that we've compared the two different build paths at different stages of the game, let's move on to breaking down the pros and cons to going for this new build on Kai'Sa. So for the new build of the Serrated Dirk into Essence Reaver and Nashers, it does give you a much better early to mid game spikes. So you're going to be getting a faster Q evolve there. You get your Q evolve once you get your Serrated Dirk and your Essence Reaver. So once you hit that, you just start dealing a lot more burst damage. You, your Q is on a much shorter cooldown with that 20% CDR and you're just a lot less auto attack reliant with this build on Kai'Sa, which I think is a lot better for your average AD carry player. The reason I think this new build on Kai'Sa is just much better for your average AD carry is because once you hit that 40% CDR, you just have a point and click ability in your Q that deals a ton of damage on a very short cooldown. So you're just able to spam that out so often if you're dueling your opponent or in team fights, and it just allows for you to deal consistent damage. With the Ginsu build on Kai'Sa, you're a lot more reliant on your auto attacks to deal your damage, getting that Ginsu stacked up and just being able to kite well and weave autos in team fights. But with the new build on Kai'Sa, Kaisa, you're just a lot less reliant on that. It's a lot easier of a build to execute. You're a lot more ability reliant. So for that reason, I just think it's much better if you're either new to Kaisa, new to AD carry, or you just want a more easier to execute build. Now the only con to this setup really is that you do have a bit of a weaker late game. 4 to 5 items with your mana immune is definitely going to be a little bit stronger for you at that late game there, but the way I like to think of it is that if you do have a better early to mid game with this new setup on Kai'Sa, you're going to get more kills in the early game, you're going to be able to snowball harder, you're going to get more gold, and you're going to be able to end games a lot quicker, so if you do end games quicker, the mid to late game doesn't even matter, and you won't even be reaching 4 to 5 items if you can end games quicker with this new build. The only other downsides really are that you're not going to have as much attack speed, especially like with your Ginsu at full stacks at six stacks in a team fight. You're going to have a lot less attack speed uh, with this new build on Kai'Sa as compared to having like a mana immune into Ginsu's there. So it's something you're going to have to get used to a little bit. You're just not going to have as much DPS from your auto attacks in team fights. And then also you can run into mana issues a little bit with this new build on Kai'Sa. You're not going to have the infinite mana that you would have by going for the mana immune. So you're going to have to get used to that a little bit. At certain points in the game, you're just not going to be able to spam out your abilities as much as you would with the man immune setup. And then if we lastly here break down the build and rune page you should be running for this new setup on Kai'Sa. So for the build path there, it's going to be a Dorn's Blade start every single game. Your first base, you're going to want to aim for a Serrated Dirk. If you don't have enough gold on your first base for that though, you can grab a Coal or you can grab a couple Long Swords. After that, you want to go into your BF Sword there. And once you get your Serrated Dirk and your BF Sword, you just got a lot of AD coming out of those two items. So you got a lot of burst damage early on in the laning phase with this new build on Kai'Sa. After that, you want to complete your Essence Reaver, grab your Berserker Greaves, go into your Nasher's Tooth, and after that you want to go into Ginsu's. Now, some people are going for an Edge of Night right now as their third item on this build with Kai'Sa, or for this build with Kai'Sa, because you already got that Serrated Dirk, right? That builds into the Edge of Night, so that is an option as well. You can also go for like a Gunblade as your third item. That's something that's doing pretty well right now too, so core item there is going to be Serrated Dirk, Essence Reaver, Nasher's every single game, and then third item, you can fool around with stuff, or you can experiment with stuff you don't have to go for ginsu's every single game and then for runes on kaisa pretty standard stuff she's been running this for a couple patches now so not too much new here it's gonna be hail of blades taste of blood eyeball collector ravenous hunter and then for secondary runes even if you're going for this new setup on kaisa to where you don't go for tier you still want to do go for presence of mind as your secondary rune along with bloodline there you are somewhat mana reliant or you're pretty mana reliant on kaisa so by going presence of mind it just allows for you to stay topped up on that mana and allows for you to spam out your abilities a lot more often and then for the ability max at level 1, you want to be taking your Q, level 2 your W, and then level 3 your E. And then for the complete ability maxing, it's going to be Q first, E second, and then W last. A lot of Kai'Sa players make the mistake right now of maxing their W out second, but that's not what you want to do. Just make sure you are maxing your E out second on your Kai'Sa. 
So that is going to be it guys, that is going to round out the video. Hopefully you do now have a pretty good understanding as to why this new build on Kai'Sa is very strong. Don't get me wrong though, the old build or the Mana Mew build on Kai'Sa is still completely viable. If you like to run that, if you prefer that build on Kai'Sa, you can still run it right now and have a lot of success with it. But this new build on Kai'Sa is definitely a lot more focused at that early game strength there, allowing you to snowball a little bit harder, have a bit more agency in the early game. So if you haven't tried out this new build on Kai'Sa yet, I would definitely recommend it. So with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you have yet to already. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.